Okay, the last part of Don McLean's farewell to Oban. Quite a lot of uh, high A's, particularly on the off beats in this tune, and they're all plain. So, hum ba haro bum bitro bum ba da ba bi ki ba. So that's three there. Dum ba ho bum bitro bum go ha ba bi ki ba. And then there's another there's another one on the fourth beat. Dum ba haro bum bitro bum bo ha ba bi ki bum. So they really have to be, they're a key feature of that last part. We start off with the anacrusis notes with a G grace note on C, remember it's long, then up to D. Starting off the first bar with an E doubling, up to that high A, short E and then a C doubling. And then up to high A, down to the E. The second bar is a G grace note on F, a short high G, up to high A which is dotted and then a short F and then the second beat is a throw on D so that second bar okay again making sure you have a nice clean throw on D so the first two bars of the last part go like this okay up to that fourth uh, high A and then a short F the third bar starts off with an E doubling, up to F with a dot on it, a short E and a C doubling. Okay, then a, a G grace note down to low A, a D grace note up to C, and then that same run down as before. Okay, so the whole first line of the fourth part goes like this. Okay, it's a tendency some people have is to play an E grace note down to that low A in the third bar. Make sure it's a G grace note. It does feel quite natural for a lot of people to play the E, but make sure that it's a, a G and you read the music and play exactly what's written. The next two bars are the same, are the same as above, uh, up to the throw on D, and then we go up to high A. So, hum ba ho bang ka bang ko ha da ni bram bang And then the last two bars You've played them before. Okay, so I'll play you the first time through the last part. After two, one, two. Okay, making sure you don't drop onto that half doubling on F at the start of the second last bar too early. The repeat of the part is the first line is the same as before. And then the last line. So that first bar. G grace note on low A up to B, G grace note on C up to E, G grace note on D up to F, E doubling, C, G grace note to B, B grace note up to C. And it's really important that this bar is nice and clean. And again, making sure everything's in its position. Tum po tavi tavi, and then waiting for this E double and don't fall off this F. Tini, nice clean short C, and then it's like a tacum effect, but moving up the way. Tini ya ta ha, short long. Okay, and then we have another rundown. This time, D doubling, C tacking from B to low A. And we really want these rundowns to be nice and rhythmical. Ha atakum. Making sure that the grace notes are in their position. Followed by a C doubling and then a high A doubling. 
Horobri, <coughs> and then we know the last two bars. Harabobi, Kinshevi, Yampitoro, and Baro. So the whole last line. Okay, I'm now going to uh, play you the repeat of the last part. After two, one, two. Making sure that you place all of those C doublings throughout that last line. Hum put a feet a feet three to go hara atakam para and tara badi can shavi yum bitro and baro. Okay, I'm now going to finish off with playing the last part twice over. After two, one, two. Okay, so that's the fourth part of Donna McLean's Farewell to Oban. Well done.